Here we have an Xbox Series X console with the damaged HDMI socket. So the pins are damaged on this socket. I will be opening up the console and we'll be replacing this damaged HDMI socket with a brand new one. Let's open up your console. We'll be removing the two green screws under here. So there's one under this cover and one under the warranty seal. Peel the warranty sticker off, take this out and take out the two screws. Grab your plastic pie opening tool and run it along the edges and we'll be able to lift up our back panel. Next, we'll be lifting up this tab here. Press the base, comes off. Disconnect the fan cable and take out the three screws and we'll be able to lift up the fan. Next, I will be removing the Blu-ray drives. So there's two screws here, one here and one this one. So take these two screws out. We'll be removing the noise isolator and we will take out the Blu-ray drive. Disconnect the Blu-ray drive, data and the power cable. Take out the Blu-ray drive. Next, uh, we'll be removing the long USB port cable and the power board cables. Unclip this. Press and hold on this tab here and gently lift it up. Peel this off. In order to take out our main board assembly, so there's three screws here. So the one, two, three, take out these three green screws. Slide it to the left and gently lift it up. Let's give it a quick clean. Moving on, we'll be removing this strap. Just take this out. We'll be removing these antenna accessory boards. So take out the three screws and take it out. Remove this protective metal, take out the screw. We'll be taking out the three power port screws. So there's two small screws, one long one. We'll be opening up this and taking out the power port. We'll be removing this protective metal next. So we'll be removing the three silver screws first. One, two, three. So these two are long screws and there's a medium one. Take this out. Take out the six black screws, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Gently lift it up. We are now able to lift up our power supply units. So there's three silver screws here. One, two, three, and one black screw. Take these off. So take this lid off first. 
we'll be lifting up the power supply unit and we'll be taking out this two pin power cable and the 10 pin power cable so lift it up We'll be removing this Wi-Fi antenna board next to so take out the three screws and slide it out. We'll be removing this motherboard A and B interconnect cable. So press and hold here. Take it out. Lift it up. Gently remove the cable from here, so press and hold, lift it up. Next, we'll be removing this X clamps protective shield. In order to lift up our hex clamps, we'll be removing the four screws next. Gently lift up the board. Let's just give it a quick clean. Next step is we'll be cleaning up this old dried thermal compound. So grab some isopropyl alcohol, some cotton balls and q-tips. Uh, once the cleaning is done, then we'll be placing brand new thermal paste.
Let's carry on with the assembly. So grab your heatsink, grab your main board, place it in. Place the X clamps and place the four screws. Place the X clamp shield. We'll be connecting the motherboard A and B interconnect cable. Grab your motherboard B assembly, feed the cable through and connect. Grab your WiFi module, slide it in and place the three screws. Place the power supply unit. Connect the two pin and ten pin power cables. Grab your protective shield. Place the three screws, the so two long screws and one medium one. So two long screws go here, and the medium one is here. Next, feed the cable through here. Place the three power port screws, so the long one, this one goes here, and the two medium one, they're here. Place the remaining six black screws here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll be placing the four power supply screws. So there's three long silver one and the black one goes here. Place this protective metal. Place the antenna accessory board. We'll be placing the strap back on. We'll be placing the motherboard A and B assembly back in the case. Align these two pins with these two pins here on the back case. So these two pins must be aligned. We'll be placing the three green screws uh, to hold the motherboard A and B assembly. Next, connect the USB and the power port ribbon cable. Clip this. We'll be placing the Blu-ray drive next. Connect the two cables. Place the Blu-ray drive noise isolator. Place the two Blu-ray drive screws. We'll be placing the fan next. Connect the fan power cable. Place the three screws. Place the back cover. 
place the two green screws. Place the base. Hold on. 